What's going on hockey players? Welcome to this 30 minute stick handling session. For this follow along session, you're gonna need five extra pucks, so six in total, as well as an optional dangle stick. I'm gonna use this for a couple of drills. You don't need it, but if you have one, it's just a broken off hockey stick taped on either side. So grab those six pucks and a dangle stick if you have one. We've got a timer here to run us through it, but we're gonna do 30 different drills, 30 seconds on and then 30 seconds of rest. During those rest periods, I'll be explaining the next drill. So I'm gonna start up the timer here and we're gonna get ready to go. We're gonna start off with side to side out in front of us in about 25 seconds. So for this drill, we're just stick handling the puck side to side out in front of us. Make sure you roll those wrists over so that you can cup that puck on either side. For all of these drills, I want you to think about using your top hand for about 80% of the work. So we're gonna get started in about 10 seconds here, side to side, out in front of our body just like this. Try to keep your head up if you can. Get ready to go. Here we go. Great work. Second drill is gonna be on your forehand side. So lefties on your left side, righties would be on your right side. And all we're doing is forehand front to back. So we're going from back around your heel of your foot here, all the way out in front of us, as if we were skating the puck up the ice, looking for our options. So again, top hand's doing most of the work, rolling those wrists over to control the puck, keeping your head up as you can. Forehand front to back in about five seconds here. All right, let's go. Awesome work. Now we're gonna to move to the forehand L. So we're gonna start with the puck on our forehand side. We're gonna do a similar movement where we go up, but this time we're gonna to go, to, go across. So we're kind of combining those first two drills and it looks like an L shape on your forehand side. An important thing here is we wanna stop the puck. So I'm gonna stop the puck here, pull it across, and when I bring it back, I'm stopping it and pulling. Instead of just going in one motion, we're gonna stop that puck as we go for these forehand Ls. Ready to go? Forehand owls, let's go. Great work. So this time we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna switch it to our backhand side. So we're gonna do the L motion, but on our backhand side, it's important to be able to control that puck over on your backhand side as well. So four, or backhand Ls, same motion, just like this. Try to keep your feet pointing forwards. You'll have a tendency to kind of turn as you go to your backhand side, but try to keep them forward so you can control that puck, work that mobility on the backhand side. Backhand Ls, let's go. Awesome work. Now we're gonna to go to around the world. So we're combining the forehand and backhand L and we're just going all around our body. So I'm gonna start here on my forehand side, go up, across, backhand side, across. Just like that, all around your body. We're gonna start that in about 10 seconds. Try to keep your head up for these drills if you can. If you can't, try looking about three feet in front of you so you can see the ice and you can see the puck at the same time. Around the world, let's go.
All right, now we're gonna move back to that first drill side to side, but we're gonna add dribbles on either side. So a dribble is just a really quick touch of the puck. So from one side, dribble, other side, dribble. So just a quick touch of the puck on either side. So your top hand is gonna do most of the work for these quick dribbles. It's just a nice deception move. So side to side with dribble on either side. Get ready to go in three seconds here. Side to side with dribbles. Let's go. Awesome work. We're going to do narrow to wide next. So we're going to start off with about three or four stick handles in narrow and then three, and three to four out really wide. So I want you to really reach with those wide stick handles. So narrow to wide. Looks just like that. You really want to cup that puck by rolling the wrist over on either side to catch it when you're out wide to make sure you can pull it in smoothly. Narrow to wide in about three seconds here. All right, let's go. We're moving on to toe drags, so around the world toe drags. All we're doing here is toe drags around our body, going in a circle or kind of a half circle all the way around our body. For the toe drags, you want to flip that blade up, pull it in, using that top hand, just like this, and then you're going to push, roll those wrists the other way to push it back out. If you can, you can try to lift up your head in between toe drags. Get ready to go. Around the world toeies, let's go. Nice work. Same around the world concept, but this time with dribbles. So again, just quick touches on the puck all the way around your body. Don't worry if you can't go that fast. If you're just learning, just get used to doing those quick touches by rolling that top wrist. Just a quick touch. It's a nice deception move. Usually you'll see guys do a nice little uh, dribble and then they'll deke one way. So it's a little deception. Around the world dribbles, let's go. Good job, that's a little bit of a forearm burner. We're gonna grab two of those extra pucks you have, put them out in front of you. We're doing horizontal figure eights. So all we're doing is around the pucks in a figure eight. You can go either direction you want. You can switch it up halfway if you want to as well. Forehand or horizontal figure eights out in front of you. You can mess with the spacing too. You can try it out really wide. You can go narrow, however you wanna do it. Get ready to go. Figure eights, let's go.
All right, move those two pucks over to your forehand side. We're going to do vertical figure eights. So we're going up and down this way on our forehand side. There's different ways you can do it. You can use the toe of your stick. You can use the back side of your stick to pull it. But all we want to do is just figure eights on our forehand side vertically now. We're going to start that off in about 10 seconds. Same thing here. You can go wider, you can go narrow, up to you. Switch it up every time you do this session. Vertical figure eights, let's go. Awesome work. So we're going to grab an extra puck here. We want three pucks. We're going to do V pulls. So we want to make an upside down triangle facing us like this. All we're going to do is start with the puck on our forehand side, pull it with our toe, push it up here in a V shape. Using the back side of our blade, we're pulling it back towards us. So this is a V pull here. With all of these drills, if you can, you want to peek up uh, here and there. You don't have to stay looking up the entire time, but peek up up and you can. Let's go! All right, move your pucks over just slightly towards your forehand side. We're going to start with the forehand triangle toe pull. So we're going to go in a triangle motion here. I'm going to start by doing the toe pull towards me, up, but this time I'm going to go across. So we're just going in a triangle shape just like this on your forehand side. Same thing, picking your head up when you can. If you'll see, if you watch an NHL player, when they're pulling off a move like a toe drag, they usually look down, but they look up before so they can see the ice. So let's go forehand triangle toe pulls. Awesome work. We've got 17 drills left. So the next one is going to be very similar, but it's a pullback move. So instead of using our toe, we're going to use the back side of our blade to pull it towards us. Go in that triangle motion, stop it, pull back. Just like that. With all of these drills, I want you to focus on keeping your knees at least slightly bent like you would be on the ice. We're going to start that forehand triangle pullback move in five seconds here. Ready to go? Let's go. All right, let's get rid of one puck. We're going to do a triangle puck swap. So again, we've got that kind of upside down triangle right in front of our body. I'm going to start by grabbing a puck on the left here. I'm going around in a triangle motion, stopping it and putting it back where it was. And then I do the same with the top right puck. And then back to the left. Triangle motion just like this. It's called the triangle puck swap. Get ready to go. We're going to go in three seconds. Let's go.
Awesome work. So get rid of those pucks. We just need the one now. If you've got a dangle stick, pull it out. We're just going to practice some toe drags on our forehand side. So we're going to push the puck up a little bit on our forehand side, catch it with your toe, pull it in towards your body and around the dangle stick. If you don't have a dangle stick, that's okay too. You can just pretend it's there. So toe drags, just like that. Again, with these toe drags, we're using that top hand for a majority of the work, pulling it back towards our body. All right, let's go. Awesome work. Same idea here, except we're doing the pullback now. So we're going to push that puck forward and we're going to catch it with the backside of our blade and pull it back towards our body. So this is the pullback. We want to keep that head up while we're in this motion so it looks like we're going to pass it or shoot it. Pull it back towards our body and get around that defender. So pullbacks with the dangle stick in three seconds. Let's go. All right, same setup for this one. This is the McKinnon fake shot slip. So McKinnon has the puck in a loaded position. He's gonna pull it back to a loaded position on his forehand side, and then he's just gonna slip it, pull it across. So instead of like a pull across where you'd go across your body, this is more diagonally and allows you to get around that defender. So McKinnon, fake shot, slip, catch it. Start it back at the start here. Fake shot, slip. Ready to go? Let's go. Great work, 18 drills down, 12 more to go, side to side with bottom hand release. So all we're doing here is we're gonna go side to side, but every second time we get to the right side, or if you're a righty to the left side, we're gonna release that bottom hand, control it with just your top hand only. So it looks like this. We're working that top hand control, that top hand strength. Side to side with bottom hand release, let's go. All right, so that move is gonna set us up perfectly for the Kucherov pull across. So you'll see Kucherov, a lot of NHL players, when they approach a D-man, they'll pull the puck tight to their body across, let go of their bottom hand, and then go wide using their top hand only. They can protect the puck with that bottom hand. So the Kucherov pull across, we're just gonna stick handle in front of us, then we're gonna pull it to our forehand side, tight to your body across, release that bottom hand, catch it, and repeat. Do that in about five seconds here, get ready to go. Kucherov out, pull across, let's go. Wow.
All right, we're gonna get set up for the backhand toe drag by using this warm up drill, backhand toe pull. So you're gonna flip that blade up, you're gonna pull it on the back side of the blade using just your toe. Just like this, that's all we're doing. It's a little warm up drill for the backhand toe drag. So flip that stick up using the back side of the blade, pull it across to the backhand side of your body. Backhand toe pulls, get ready to go. Let's go. Awesome work, nine more drills here. We got the backhand toe drag. So we're gonna push the puck forward, pull it across our body. So use that backhand side of your toe, just like we practiced. You wanna keep your head up to fake that shot or fake that pass. Pull it across to the side of the body and start over. So important, important part here is picking your head up so they think that you're gonna look for the shot or potentially a pass as well. And then flip it over and catch it on the other side. If you have to have your head down while you do that, that's fine as well. Let's go. Awesome work. This one is called the Jesper Bratt fake shot backhand to forehand. So this is his breakaway move. So what we're gonna do here, forehand side, we're gonna fake the shot, catch it, go backhand, forehand. Start again, fake that shot, backhand, forehand. Catch the puck, backhand, forehand. Just like that. Get ready to go, five seconds. Let's go. Awesome work. We're gonna to move to a similar move, but this is good for D-man, Rasmus Dahlin, fake slap shot, backhand to forehand. So I'm gonna turn this way so I have a little more room. We're gonna fake that slap shot, catch it, go backhand, forehand. He uses this when he's coming in from the blue line. He'll fake the shot, go backhand, forehand, get around that defender, moving it even closer for a better shot. So just looks like this, fake slap shot, pull it to backhand, forehand. Get ready to go, let's go. All right, Trevor Zegris toe pull. So I like to think of toe drags where they're kind of more out in front of you. You're pulling it in towards your body like this. Zegris had a nice move where he had it out wide and he's gonna pull it close to his feet, lift that skate up and kind of push it the other way. So he had it out wide as if he was maybe gonna do a little dragon shoot, but he pulled it in just like this. So we're just gonna work on that Zegris toe pull. Using that toe your stick. When it gets to your skate, you wanna lift that skate up and kinda of push it forward so you can go around that opponent. Let's go. Ooh, 
Nice work. Grab those five pucks that we have set aside. We're going to do the Johnny Gaudreau puck weave. So I'm going to try to get this set up quickly so I can show you. But essentially all we're doing is weaving between the five pucks. So I'm going to set them up in a line. You can spread them out as far as you want. The tighter they are, the trickier it is. And we're just going to stick handle there between them and then walk backwards and go back. All right, let's go. All right, same idea, but this time we're going to add a little toe drag. So I'm just going to space my pucks out again here. So at each puck, once we approach that puck, we're going to toe drag, go back to your forehand side, toe drag, just like that. You can turn around or you can pull the puck back to your starting position and do the same thing. Three seconds, let's go. Toe drag, puck weave, here we go. All right, three more drills here. This time we're going to work on our top hand strength with the Connor Bedard one-handed weave. So we're just going to weave between the pucks using your top hand only, really working that top hand control. If you want, you can put your top hand behind your back or you can just hold it out by your side. Get ready, 10 seconds. We got two more drills after this. Uh, after this one, we're going to move the pucks aside and finish off a couple more drills. Here we go, Bedard top hand strength, let's go. Nice work, move those pucks aside. We're gonna work on Kale McCarr, Sidney Crosby, Mohawk puck protection. So start with the puck out in front of your body. We're gonna pull the puck close to our body as we do a little Mohawk move. So our feet are essentially doing the 10 and two. We're gonna go forehand side, so stick handle, 10 and two, puck protection. And then on the other side as well, backhand and forehand side. This is used to protect that puck, shield the puck with your body. Let's go. Awesome work, last drill of the day, top hand only burnout. So we're just gonna burn out that top hand, get that strength up. So this could be called the Bedard freestyle. Top hand only, do whatever you want. If you want, you can set some pucks out, you can set your dangle stick out. Whatever you wanna do, all we're doing is trying to burn out that top hand, that top forearm with some stick handling. So work on different moves, whether it be the toe drag, stick handling around pucks, whatever it is, let's finish it off. Let's go. A little puck protection in there with your other hand if you want. 10 more seconds, let's go, keep going. Woo! 
Awesome job joining me today. Nice work. You just became a better hockey player. Let's go.